this is Beard Brothers Coffee. Mm -hmm. And you have a glorious beard. <laughs> and your name is Joe Beard. Yeah. What's your real name, Joe? Joe Beard. <laughs> I was born with it. I was also I born with the name. <laughs> Who is Anna? She's you. I guess you could say she's the other. Uh, I'm not going to say beard brother. She's the other half of the of the business. Um, by far the better half, the more beautiful half, and the more creative half. The short answer is she's my wife and partner. Uh, the long answer is she's the most amazing person that exists. Um, so when people come in, they always ask, talk about the decor and stuff. And it, honestly, the decor is just one small expression of who she is you know she's so incredibly uh creative she's really the linchpin behind the place that without her it wouldn't it wouldn't exist you know it's confusing when i say that it's actually my wife and i who started it well we're the brothers so it's just about a generational heritage you know like honoring those who have come before and not just the brothers but honoring all of our family members who have come come before we're, we're really investing in future memories I think the journey of Beard Brothers started probably 18 years ago in a lot of regards. So for 18 years, I was a teacher. I taught in four different schools over two different countries, uh, private school, public school, high school, middle school, history and English and every kind of subdivision within that. I put in my resignation at Maryville High in the summer of 2022 with the intent that this place was supposed to open in August, September. So we opened on February 8th. So there were some months of real strain and stress, like, is this actually going to happen? I've given up an 18 year career to, to make this happen. And I'm almost 50 years old right now. So like, it doesn't make any sense, like doing what we've done. It makes no logical sense on any front whatsoever, which is why it's been so great. But it wasn't because we were running from something as much as we were running to something. I mean, ultimately we felt like there was an, a new calling that included not just me going into the classroom, but me bringing our entire family along. And why is really yet to be determined to an extent. We just really knew the what. What is it about Blunt County and coffee? Um, oddly enough, here in, in Maryville, there are four coffee shops, really four main coffee shops present, and they all four roasts, which that's very unusual. That's really cool. That's un very unusual for that to happen, that there's that level of autonomy. What do you consider makes a great cup of coffee? Man, I guess it depends on who you ask. What, what makes a great cup of coffee? Um, I think for us, it's not as much even about the coffee, right? What makes a great cup of coffee is the sourcing of the coffee. By the time you buy it at wherever corporate chain that you buy it, it's now, it's now changed hands seven to nine times. So who gets the cut of the profits? You know, rarely the actual farmer themselves. So what we lead with is not the flavor of the coffee, but what we lead with is the people itself, because that's what's way more important than anything. But the coffee itself, it has to start at the, at the point of justice. It has to start to the people who, who made this that the people who made it, that grew it on the soil of their, of their birth, the place that they live, that these are the people who get the lion's share of the profit. And then when you've established those relationships and then when they ship the coffee and they've been paid a, a good wage and they have received dignity for the coffee itself, then when it gets here and I roast it, it's incumbent upon me that this tastes like something that justifies what they've done with their life, with their multi-generations. Anything else, I'm, we're just bastardizing the cup. So it's not really about coffee. It's never been about coffee. My question is not, how do I make more profit? My question is, how do we have more integrity? How do we have deeper character? And when you do that, the profit will come.
I really believe that with Beard Brothers, us having a measure of success is not about us. In part, it's going to be about establishing a, a, a paradigm of how to do things, establishing a new model of how to do things, and then passing that idea on to others and say, this is what we did in coffee, but what does it look like for you? You want to do it in chocolate. You want to do it in tennis shoes. You want to do it in t-shirt design. Whatever it is, you do what you do with excellence and you treat people well, and then everything will fall into place with that. Thank you.